What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, my name is Caitlin, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you different essentials that I have found very useful and have used the most the first six months of having my daughter. She just turned six months last week. I am a first time mom, and so I just wanted to give you a very minimal and refined list of things that I feel like will be very useful across the board. Every baby is different, and I really try to stick to things that will hopefully be helpful for every single person every single mom I'm also talking about some postpartum things so I have it split into categories to keep things really simple and I will also have everything tagged down below and if you haven't watched it already I do have an in-depth video about what I got for my postpartum and I'll tag it up here if you want to check that out okay first category let's talk sleep that is first of all the number one question that you are gonna get all the time when they're here how are they sleeping it's just like I guess people don't know what else to ask or it's just like the marker of how well it's going so anyways prepare yourself for that here are a few things that i feel like are really good and solid to have first of all some type of red light night light or a sun lamp so i'm gonna put a picture of what we have up here this has been really helpful and no one had mentioned this um when i was trying to prepare for everything thank goodness we already happened to have it but when you are waking up throughout the night the last thing that you want to do is First of all, not be able to see your baby when you're sleeping, like throughout the night if you wake up and you're checking on them. Um, but also when you're waking up to feed, turning on like a harsh light or like a lamp going from really dark to really bright can be just, it's just not the move, you know what I mean? So we keep the sun lamp on all the time throughout the night. It's not too dark and it's more of a red light. So it's not gonna be, you know, the red light versus the blue light situation you want something that's a little bit more soft that's not going to fully wake you up so we just keep this plugged in and we kind of have it pointing to the ground i'll actually try to add a clip of what that looks like right here so you want just enough light where you can see but you're not going to wake yourself up too much or the baby too much i also think that if you just got a night light that is a red light or i believe if you get the hatch lamp like the hatch sound machine that also has a light we don't have that one it you can program it to do a red light so next is something that you probably hear all the time which is the hatch sound machine or really just any sound machine i don't think it has to be the hatch one um and also this is kind of maybe one of those things that are give or take asher and i already listened to white noise before dakota was here i do find that she kind of recognizes that we are doing our longer stretch while she still wakes up to feed at night she goes right back to sleep and i don't know if the sound machine is helping with that but i do think i mean it helps me so why would it not help her you know what i mean so next thing is the snuggle me organic obviously this is for when you're able to watch them it's not for a nighttime but it really is a great thing to have during the day especially when you're in the newborn bubble phase and you're at home and maybe you are in the living room and you can put it on the couch and they are just sitting there all snuggled in and sleep most of the day so it's really great to have um Dakota is definitely gotten a lot bigger since the very beginning, but she still kind of lays in it sometimes. I think it is worth it. I have also found a bunch of these on Facebook Marketplace. You can buy covers to go over them. So, you know, if you don't really want to buy a second hand, you can buy a cover to go over it. Next, we're going into the feeding category. I'm going to be talking about breastfeeding because that has, we've exclusively breastfed. So this is what has been very good for us. First of all, Silverettes, they are worth it. It is important to get the actual brand from the research that I did because I think that some some other companies kind of did a knockoff where they're not 100% pure silver, but that is the healing aspect of it is that it is silver. I would, in the beginning, when I was getting used to breastfeeding, in between feedings, I would put this on and just keep them on there until I was ready to feed again. And I actually didn't do it at first but then when I started doing it, I definitely noticed a difference. So I do believe that these help you heal. If it is something that is a little bit painful for you at the beginning, these are definitely worth it. I am going to keep these. I've like cleaned them and keep them in a place where they are going to hold well for the next baby. Okay, next in the feeding category, Bobby. Now, actually, I have a few mixed reviews about the Bobby. I have tried one of my friends, my breast friend pillow and I actually like it more for feeding 
Um, I didn't end up buying it because I already had this and I just couldn't really get myself to spend more money on something because this, this does do the job. But I do like the My Breast Friend pillow because it's more sturdy. You can buckle it in the back. There's more room. The problem that I kind of have with the bobby is say that this is you, right? Right here. There's the bobby. Um, and it doesn't fasten the back, sometimes it can kind of start to slide away from you and the baby can kind of start going in that crack in between you and the bobby. Um, not that they actually do, because you can, you know, you just have to kind of keep pushing it close to yourself if that makes sense. Whereas the My Breast Friend pillow, um, it fastens in the back and so it really is tight to your body. You don't have to worry about that. You can actually even walk with it. And so it is very sturdy and I really liked it every time that I used it. Now, the thing that I do like about the Bobby though, is it, it does do the job. It's just not as sturdy as the other one. But also the bobby is good for other things as they grow. So right now Dakota's just sort of sitting up, but every now and then she'll just be like, you know, topple over. And so I kind of like having this around her. So if she does, that way she is falling on something soft. Um, also kind of lay back on it when they get a little bit older. If you put a blanket over it, um, stretched out, it kind of makes it a nice little seat almost. So there's different things to do with it. On the actual bobby itself, you can they have the different age groups and what is appropriate for them on how to use it. So I do like that this is more multi-purpose. Okay, next in the feeding category, if you are breastfeeding, these are things that I like to have. These are the legendary milk brand supplements. I don't really actually take these anymore, but at the beginning when I was trying to get the swing of things and figure out my supply, I liked having these on hand um, because they really do help. So the sunflower lecithin, lecithin, I don't know, I've heard multiple things. This is great to have for clogged ducts. So I actually, thank God, don't really struggle with getting clogged ducts. I try to make sure I completely um, am getting all of it out thoroughly and you know there's different things that you can do to help prevent that but at the beginning i was not prepared for how fast and hard my milk was going to come in and i just remember sitting there one day and um it was like a few days postpartum and my milk had come in and i just remember being like wait a second i'm so full and it kind of freaks me out um so i had to get the hang of things like that and i did actually get a few clogged ducts at the beginning i actually got them under my armpits which i didn't know was a thing i was like what is this lump and why does it hurt I figured out it was a clogged duct so you can massage it you can do all that but this is going to help loosen those up as well so i like to just have it on hand it's like 12.99 i think you can get it on amazon you can get a target or you can get it straight off of their website so I like having this it's just one ingredient as well and it's apparently super high quality of the version um, of sunflower lectin they like talked about how they source it so anyways this is good to have another thing they have they actually have a ton of stuff on their website so if you're interested in all their products i would say go there first i like this liquid gold supplement for supply so i haven't been using this again this was kind of in the beginning when i was a little bit nervous and i felt like what if i don't produce enough all of that stuff i had this and i did notice a difference now the cool thing about this brand is that they recognize everyone is different everyone responds differently to different key ingredients so they have the liquid gold they have one called milk palooza one called pumping princess but they're all to help with milk supply i think there's more than that but those are the top three so what you can do is you can actually go on their website and get a sample pack where it has this and those other two that I mentioned, Liquid Gold, Milk Palooza, and Pump Princess, and you can take them and see which one you respond best to. I actually think I responded best to Milk Palooza, um, and then this one was like kind of next. And then the Pump Princess, I didn't really notice a difference with, so I still have like a full bottle in my pantry. But that's kind of the idea, is to figure out which one works for you, and then after that, you can just buy that specific one. So this is also really good because it's all clean, organic ingredients, and they don't use fenugreek. Um, learn why we're fenugreek free, I think that's how you say it. Um, they talk about it on their website and basically I think it can really hurt people's supply. So they just steer clear of that. This one has go through milk thistle. So anyways, it's all organic. It's all really clean. There's no additives. Next, we're going to talk about the wellness categories. First up, the nose Frida. Now this is only one part of it. I actually can't find the other part of it, but 
it's in our room and Dakota is sleeping in there and I just didn't want to make a ruckus but I'll put a picture up here I'm sure you've seen it it's the one that you suck and it pulls out the snot um I tried to not do that as much as possible because she actually really doesn't mind when we do it maybe when she's gotten a little older she's kind of like what's going on but for the most part if you just use this at least for dakota what she's done is we do this spray it up there it actually kind of makes her sneeze most of the time and then we just wipe her nose it really breaks up and kind of makes the snot that's in there easy to come out and clean up i also like this one because it is just water and sodium chloride if you'll notice the other sprays at the store a lot of them have more ingredients which is completely unnecessary to me and this really does the job you can buy this in the kit um, and it comes with a smaller one which is actually lasts us a really long time but we went somewhere one time and forgot it and she had a stuffy nose so we just went and got this at the store and yeah but this really is something i feel like because when when they're young and their nose is stuffy and they don't know how to blow their nose or they're not sneezing it really does help get it out um it doesn't even make it anywhere near your mouth i know that the idea and the concept is kind of like ugh, but it it doesn't make it anywhere near your mouth and yeah it has really been helpful for us all right next this is something i highly recommend this is the earthly wellness infant tummy relief so this is like a clean alternative to gripe water um, this is something that has helped. You can use it from zero to 12 months. It's two to five drops. So if they are, if your baby is experiencing maybe gas or bloating or whatever, um, this has been good to just do a few drops. It's very simple ingredients, which I appreciate. All of them are right here on the top and it is certified organic. So this is from Earthly Wellness. I do believe you can get this on Amazon or you can get it directly off of their website. They also have a teeth tamer for teething. So this is another thing that we got. Again, all organic ingredients. There is literally four ingredients, one of them being filtered water. So it's very simple. A lot of those other ones that I looked into just had just they just have gunk and stuff that i didn't want to use on dakota if i'm going to be using it regularly so this has been helpful we just put some either wash her hands and put some on her finger and rub it on her gums or put it on one of her toys that she likes to chew on and let her get it that way so this brand has several things that i feel like would be very useful to put in your medicine cabinet and to build up um, that are safe and kid friendly not all of them are safe for you know babies that are months old or whatever but they do have some stuff so i feel like this company is definitely worth looking at okay diapering first of all this organic diaper balm it is by earth mama we actually haven't used that much this if she does have any kind of redness i put it on it's clear up the next day i also personally would use just organic grass-fed and finished whipped tallow so that is something worth looking into in my opinion this has been really good and it's also multi-purpose like if she is if they have dry skin or whatever um, you can put this on as well and it's just very clean ingredients this brand in general is very good next this is something that i just highly recommend a portable changing pad so i'm going to put a picture of the one that we have up here um we use this anywhere and everywhere we'll do it on the couch we'll do it on the bed because it covers like if there ever is any kind of accident um it's right there and it's super easy to clean so we have this like fake leather one it's just been super good we actually don't have a changing station in our house we just you know money was spent and that was not one of the things that we spent money on although i would like to have a cute little changing station this has just kind of been nice to be able to have we actually have two we have one for the house and then we have one with the diaper bag which we have the dagne i don't know how to say it, dagne dover um diaper bag which i really really love i wouldn't say it's necessary but it is a really good diaper bag and it actually comes with one a portable changing pad so we have that wherever we go um and then also we have one for here and then also i wanted to include this in the diapering category this little caddy that i'll put a picture up of this is just nice to have especially if you have an upstairs or downstairs or if you have a big house or whatever we actually don't have either of those um but it's nice to have access to different diapering stations throughout the house so we have one in our room and then also we can have this one 
um, in the living rooms. Um, this is also good for postpartum. I had some of my postpartum stuff here at the very beginning and I just had it in one of our bathrooms while another setup was in the other bathroom. So this is just good for a lot of things. Also when they get older, you can put it in the car, put maybe snacks and stuff in it or diapering stuff there. So if you're on the go, you don't have to worry about forgetting the diaper bag, which I do about every other time that we go out in public. I don't, I don't know. So anyways, it, it really is, you know, multi-purpose. Next, we are going to talk about play situation. These things might not be necessary for the very beginning of it all, but I have found that we use this stuff all the time. So first of all, we have these. I like these because they don't have BPA. They are dyed with like food, um, food dyes. I can't remember all the details. I'll put it up here, but they are a more safe version in multiple different ways. And so I like that because first of all, they're not that expensive, so it's worth it. But when there's stuff in their mouth all the time, I do wanna to try to get a cleaner version. So she loves these, she can grab onto it really well. And this one, she can really grab onto well and loves chewing on it. Um, and they have different options, different little fruits. And I can't remember if they have different options of this one. But anyways, these are great for teeter toys. Next in the play category, we have this gather mat that I'll show you right here. Um, if you don't have carpet, I would say that this is not the move because it's pretty thin. But if you do have carpet, it's nice because when you put it on, it does make it softer. Dakota sits on this and plays on it all the time. You know, when she spits up and drools or whatever, um, it's super easy to clean. So I love that. And it's also really nice and sleek looking. We also put it under her high chair. So she is just now starting to kind of explore with foods, which means half of it, probably more than half of it ends up on the ground. And so we put this under there and it's very easy to clean up afterwards. So this is really good. They also have different sizes and I believe different colors. And so if you have carpet, I feel like this would be a really good option. And then last on the play category are these books. I'm gonna show a picture of them right here. These have been great, Dakota loves these books. So this might be one of those things that maybe your baby doesn't care about it, but the reason I mention them is because they are non-toxic and because babies put everything in their mouth, these books are made to not tear and to not, they can weather the storm of being chewed on by a baby all the time. So she does chew on it. She likes to pick it up, you know, play with it with her hands, also put it in her mouth and it does not tear. It might get a little crinkly, but it basically, you know, like it's very, very durable and it's created for babies to basically do that, put it in their mouth. And it also is non-toxic. I haven't looked deeply into that. So I don't know how non-toxic it is. Okay. Lastly, my, I'm looking at my notes here. Lastly is postpartum. Get things that you can have to help you recover. Take it easy, take it slow. Um, these are some of the things that I will definitely be repurchasing next go round. First being Milk Moon. This is a game changer. I can definitely feel a difference. I don't take it consistently anymore because A, it is a little pricey. At the very beginning, it is worth it. Put it on your registry, um, start buying it now. I would start out with at minimum two because the recommended use is enjoy one to two tablespoons three times daily. So I took this three times every single day at the very beginning. If you do that, it lasts you about two weeks. So that's why I say I would get two to at least have it for the first month. Um, after, if you buy it from the website, after shipping and tax, it's $50 even for one bottle. But I would, if you're 12 weeks pregnant, I would say buy one now, put it on your registry, get as many as you can. This is my third bottle. I probably would take it longer if I could just dish out $50 pretty easily like that. But because your body needs so much support at the beginning, I think that it's worth it. And I'll say I loved my newborn bubble. I love the first eight weeks. Again, I that's very multifaceted and nuanced, but I do think this really did help support me, especially when you are, um, you know, having a lot of broken sleep, etc. All of the things that come with the territory of having a newborn. It has all of these herbs that are organically grown or ethically wild crafted. And I had heard about it from other moms on Instagram who raved about it. It is a postpartum restorative tonic. So this is worth it to me. Definitely a staple that you should have postpartum. And it also tastes good, kind of tastes, it's very lightly sweet and there's not really much of a flavor to it. So it's really easy to take. Asher would come up to me three times a day 
just hold it up to my mouth take it and boom next i would get an herbal bath so this is from the brand mother mother i did like this one um my midwife actually created a bath for me i was supposed to do it at the uh, birthing center that i gave birth at which if you are interested i will put my birth story up here but i was felt pretty weak after and had lost a good amount of blood so they were just monitoring me so she created my herb bath for me to take home and it is great for healing down there this is from the brand mother mother i don't remember where she got hers but you basically just want to look for an organic herb bath there are several in, online that i found these are the ingredients for this one the only thing i'll say about this one is it's really not that much my midwife had it in bulk so she made a huge pot of the herb bath for me and i got in it and it really did help my healing i don't know if certain care providers don't recommend baths after but this i did i took a bath like several right off the bat which was super relaxing to me and this helped me heal so highly recommend that another thing postpartum highly recommend is bone broth stock up on bone broth i made my own you can buy bones we bought bones locally from a farm that we are by but we got you know grass-fed all the good stuff bones and i made a huge pot I actually made soup out of it um but if you're gonna make freezer meals you're gonna make stuff to prepare for that time period let bone broth be one of them first of all you really want to focus on warm foods that are going to help your body heal um and also from a lot of people testifying and talking about this warm foods help with the after pains of birth um actually didn't really i didn't feel any after pains of birth um i know it can get worse with each kid but i really focus on warm soothing foods that were easy to digest so bone broth just drink, drinking it straight you can get it in bulk in costco if you don't want to make your own or you can make it into soups you can slide it into different things very easily so highly recommend that lastly for the postpartum thing is the mother love sit spray i use this a lot um actually i'm not I, i'll say this but like i said i have a whole video on things and i pretty much use all of the stuff that i mentioned in this video if you want to check that out but this sit spray i did it every single time that i went to the bathroom it was really cooling and healing for me i use the brand mother love which is a very clean simple organic brand uh, so i really appreciate that because it is a sensitive area down there so that is something that i would highly recommend to have for your postpartum experience all right guys i hope this video was helpful for you if you have anything that you have used that has been a game changer for you or that you use all the time please comment down below to help other moms out that may be looking at this video thanks so much for watching make sure you subscribe and stick around and i'll see you next time